What's going on guys, Mimic here with another video. This one is gonna be a producer's letter part nine video. This is a letter that the creators of the game come out with every so often and they kind of update their community on a few changes that they're expecting to do in the game. Uh, and it's their way of kind of letting us know what they've got planned for the game now i'm not going to read the entire letter but i am going to link it in the description so if you guys have some downtime today check out the letter and read it in full but i'm just going to cover a few topics uh inside the letter that i don't know how i feel about and i wanted to kind of throw it out there and make some content and see what you guys thought about it but this one is going to be about pvp changes they got some massive pvp changes that are going on in the game essentially they're changing the way the entire pvp game uh pvp aspect of the game works and i wanted to put it out there and, and see what you guys thought so let's jump in um so i'm not going to read everything here i'm only reading um a few parts of it which are kind of like the main things that they're going to be changing and i'll start here it says here pvp at a guild level is planned to be extensively supplemented with a focus on origin stones dimension stones and occupational stones first of all the biggest change is that the guilds that can participate in conquest battles are limited to one of the defense side and one on the attack side in the existing occupation war all occupation stones are active are, are activated as conflict areas at the same time and everyone who enters the area can participate in war that's how it is now okay therefore the more guilds that are in the alliance the more advantageous they can be in the melee situation or the easier it is to successfully defend by dividing the offense and defense teams correct so that's how they have it set up now and it says here however in the case of the change declaration me method it will be a one-on-one -on -one battle between guild that owns the occupation zone and the guild that declared war success or failure is determined by the unity of the guild without the support of the alliance if the new occupation declaration method is applied guilds that do not have occupation stones must select up to three occupation stones to attack during the declaration period this may change in the future if multiple guilds declare an occupation stone at the same time the guild with a higher guild ranking will have priority as it is a one-on-one -on -one match between guilds fighting under the same conditions we are looking forward to discovering more innovative and diverse strategies than before of course there are still some detailed rules that need to be confirmed even if you do not participate in pvp we are reviewing all possibilities to ensure that the alliance does not intervene in the battle through methods other than combat such as blocking the way or that ownership is maintained without mutual combat through collusion or that a specific guild monopolizes one occupation stone we are in the process of perfecting fair rules we will prepare addition additional detailed notices regarding the completed declaration method rules it says here another change to occupy stone is the introduction uh, introduction of inner servers inner server is a multi-server system that goes beyond the server you belong to and guilds with occupation stones can enter the inner server space by interacting with origin stones dimension stones here the guild will meet guilds from other servers that have the same occupation stones and will engage in a conflict event with all other guilds as enemies a guild area event occurs at the origin stone and a field boss event occurs at the dimension stone wow it says here all inner server pvp can only be participated in guilds alone without alliances just like the occupation wars for each server and matching between servers changes every period the content generation cycle is once a week and the first inner server pvp is expected to be released in march so they're starting to they're, they're trying to get this done by by next month additionally inner server pvp is planned to expand beyond guilds and to alliances okay that's good you will experience the largest cross server siege war within the first half of the year including up to four friendly guilds and mercenary groups selected from each server wow okay cool that i like that we believe that in order to prevent guild skill competition from becoming entrenched we need to develop an open battlefield beyond the server we would appreciate it if you could look forward to a new battle that can create tension and fun in a single match which is different from long-term long-term intra-server struggle okay no pressure competition party solo pvp if pvp content featuring guilds provides fairness and expands the battlefield to increase the tension and frequency of competition the direction of existing field pvp is a low hurdle as new pvp goals and motivations are provided to guilds through inner server we are planning to re revise field pvp in a way that can enhance the fun of party and soloing first 
the conflict zone event. We are planning a major overhaul of local events so that we can take advantage of the original fun of individual PVP content. The main direction of the reorganization is the change to faction warfare. Users who enter the conflict zone event are randomly assigned to one faction. Your faction is assigned regardless of your guild and depending of your and de depending on your team assignment. You may face off against users from your own guild. During the conflict zone event, names and guild symbols will be hidden so that players cannot identify each other. Users will fight for their own victory against non-guild teams according to the rules of local events. The winning team is given superior rewards and rewards are paid differently depending on individual contribution. We hope that through the change of faction warfare, various uh, variables will be created within local events that will that the weaker guild or solo users will be able to enjoy PvP content with less burden. These are still detailed improvements to be made, such as communication between factions and party matching methods, but development is accelerating. At this rate, we'll be seeing a new conflict zone event sometime in April. Okay, cool, cool. The arena is also scheduled to open. Wow. Uh, TL's arena is a deathmatch battlefield where the same number of people compete. Various modes such as 2v2, 3v3, and 6v6 are being planned. We plan to provide a deathmatch battlefield first, but we're keeping a possibility open to develop into more diverse formats. The first release date is targeted for June. Although there is a bit of time left, we are doing our best to upgrade the underlying system. Once development becomes visible, we will provide a detailed explanation once again. So it looks like they are bringing the uh, the arena in, which a lot of people have been wanting the arena. That is really cool. I'm glad to see this. This is cool. This is really I like this. Incidentally, since the last letter, many people have asked questions about whether all field bosses are in, in, instanced or whether peace mode is easier to obtain rewards. XYZ. I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to read this either. It's kind of like a summary of the notes. So let's talk really quick about this. So it's just going to be a short video. What do I think personally about the changes? So they're not for one, the stones are not going to be alliance, right? It's not going to be these mega alliances with 10 guilds versus another alliance with six guilds fighting for these stones. Now it's going to be a true 1v1 guild versus guild for the stone. I like that. I think it's good. It evens the playing field, right? The stronger guild will win. The, the guild with the most uh, people online will win. The guild with the, you know, the better parties are going to win, which I think is fair. And that's how it should be. But I think it dampens a little bit of the alliance play. There has to be separate events for alliances. And and like they did say down here that they are they are uh, doing a zone where it's going to be inner 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 uh, inner server PVP where your alliances can uh, fight. Uh, so it says including four friendly guilds. So additionally, inner server PVP is planned to expand beyond guild to alliances. So what they're going to do is it's going to be pretty much server versus server pvp and in that mode it's going to be where you can have up to four guilds fight plus a mercenary group selected from each server for cross uh cross server sieges so i'm not sure if this is just for siege war or if it's for a separate type of war that will be happening inner server pvp in other words i'm not sure this is uh this is a new letter this one this letter just came out a few days ago on the fifth it's the eighth so just came out a few days ago um and it says like most of this stuff's going to be coming out in the next few months which is really cool so um i think it's good that they're doing the 1v1 guild uh you know where you can take the, the stones uh, guild versus guild i think that makes a little sense because before it was just you know whoever had the most numbers was probably going to win the stone right because it's very hard to take a stone when you don't have half as many numbers as the other enemy alliance or guild now if it's a 1v1 thing both guilds are going to have a max of 66 players that's going to be more competitive right we're going to want to schedule uh you're going to want to schedule these things and say hey we're being attacked on this day at this time i need everyone to be on 30 minutes prior so that we can form groups and go and defend our stone so i like that i think it adds a little bit more complexity to uh, the the battle it's going to add more micromanaging it's going to add a little bit more uh diversity to how that the battle is going to work you're going to have to have you know certain certain groups that are just maybe only tanks only that are your front lines you're going to have certain groups that are your healers 
uh, things like that, right? So it's gonna make it a little bit more sweaty, I think, because it's only gonna be a 1v1. And these, and these stone fights are 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes of having to constantly either defend or attack and you're gonna have to rally, right? There's not gonna be any funneling. You're not gonna want people that die to just funnel back into the fight. You're gonna wanna push as one group and try to take it in one sweep, you know? So I think that's really cool that they're adding that. Um, I don't know, I, I'm kind of up in the air right now. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I guess we'll have to see. Um, I do like that they're adding this though to the uh, events. So in the events, they're gonna make it where you actually join a faction and the faction is a group of players can be from different guilds, different alliances. You're not gonna be able to see your name and it's gonna wipe uh, the guild emblem that you have. So no one's gonna know who is who. You're just gonna be assigned factions based on some type of algorithm that they have in the game. And the faction that wins in the PVP uh, event is actually gonna get the awards. Now. I think that's more fair than what it is set up now, because the way it's set up now is the same thing. It's the, the group with the with the most people that are online at the PvP event are going to dominate the event because it's just harder to win against more people with it. With them breaking up into factions, it evens the playing field. And the fact that you'll be fighting against your own guildmates, I think that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of I'm leaning towards that. This is a good thing, but I don't know yet. I don't I don't know yet. So let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think? You think it's good? You think it's bad? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Let's start a convo on it. If you like the video, hit the like button. Helps me out big time. When you every time you hit that like button, my video gets sent out to other viewers who may be interested in the content and then they get to enjoy it as well. If you want to support me more, all you got to do is hit the sub button. Give me some love. It helps me out tremendously. I'm trying to get to 2K here in about a month. So I appreciate every person who subs to my channel. Thank you so much for your time. Much love to everyone. I'm going to be making some more videos this week, but I just wanted to make this one, put it out for you guys so you guys could uh, see some of the PVP changes some of the uh, riftstone changes that the game uh, creators are doing to try to expand how the game is going to be working in pvp uh, moving forward thanks so much for the view until next time peace